Plaintiff Tammy Matthews is married to the defendant, but she claims their marriage ended after he started having an affair with his current girlfriend. The co-defendant, Tammy claims once the defendant got with his girlfriend, he started using meth and she's suing both of them today for unpaid loans. Defendants Paul Matthews and his girlfriend Rhonda McCool say Paul was married to Tammy for 18 years, but they hadn't slept in the same bed in 15 years. Rhonda claims Tammy has been harassing her, so they're countersuing for emotional distress and defamation. Start with you. All right, Your Honor. Paul Matthews is my husband. We've been together 18 years. Rhonda McCool is his girlfriend. She's been with him for approximately, I believe, six months. Paul has started doing drugs within the last year. Think we she ha has something to do with it? She smokes marijuana. What type of drugs does he use? Meth. Big difference. Um, Rhonda is one of the reasons oh, yeah. why <laughs> we're getting a divorce. We have two girls together, 14 and 17. How does she engage them? How? My youngest, 14, she has smoked marijuana with Rhonda. Her kids My love me and there's no proof to that. Go ahead. My 17-year-old, she took to a store with her and shoplifted with her. How did you find that out? My daughter, the daughter. yes. And all this in six months? Correct. She turned them into thieves and dope heads in six <laughs> months. So. I'm, I'm going over here. Yeah, she got, she got some influence, that's doing. for sure. Her influence goes beyond him, if that's the case. Well, I do know that she, she does not have her own children. Your Honor, I do. I don't have believe my, all this. Let me hear. From I you. do have my own kids. My son, right now, a, before her, he was in trouble, but right now he's in prison because of her. Um, How my is she sitting because the they were staying at the hotel room with us. We were staying in a hotel room. We rented a room next to us for them. It was her two daughters, his son, and my son in the room. She got a hold of the police and told them there were drugs in the room, which we had no idea there was. Were there? I guess there was. I was at work when this happened, but she told the cops. I will give you the drugs and her son if you do not arrest my kids. Now, mm -hmm. my son's in prison for three years because of it. And they found Honor, enough that's evidence that's to believe Yes, it. they did. They did. So she didn't do anything that's wrong to report a criminal. And, but I have the proof right here. On behalf of the United States government, right? Correct. You're being a good citizen. If she was doing that if, to be a good citizen, I would understand that. But I have the proof right here and messages she sent me that the only reason she's messing with my kids is to hurt me. I have proof of that. Mm. I have proof that she's going through my 14 and 16 year old daughter and she'll do whatever it takes to All them. Right. To I assume me. that's your emotional distress yes, claim, sir. but before you demonstrate your distress, um, let me allow her to get back to her case. Go ahead, any other testimony okay. before well, we Your Honor, uh, get I have to a the five loans you're suing for? Yeah, I have a what five else? year protective order on behalf of my children protecting against her. Who? Protecting my children, they cannot be around her. Really? Uh, yes. Why? Because she's, she's a violence, she's a threat because to Because she's into drugs, they have no place to live, they bounce from motel to motel. No, that's not true. Why? Because uh, she used my son me. doing <laughs> drugs in order to get the protective order, but she takes her daughter every day to visit my son in jail. She pays for his phone calls, she puts How money on his children? books. They're 14 and 17. Okay. And the main thing for her that's getting That's enough, ma'am. All right, I'm looking at the order. Why ever she did it, she got it. Your son is in prison, he was You're, convicted. Your Honor, he's not in prison. He's in the... In she the said he county. was. Yeah, he's in no, the county. No, we're not debating jail. her son. Do you want right. your money or you want to talk about her son no, and her talk about your kids? <laughs> They're somewhere smoking weed and getting high and y'all in here fussing about them. Paul Matthews is my husband. We've been together 18 years. Rhonda McCool is his girlfriend. Paul has started doing drugs. Think we she has something to do with it? She smokes marijuana. What type of drugs does he use? Meth. Big difference. Um, Rhonda is one of the reasons oh, yeah. why <laughs> we're getting a divorce. Plaintiff Tammy Matthews is legally married to the defendant, but she claims their marriage ended after he started having an affair with his current girlfriend, the co-defendant. Sir, do you want to speak? At some point, yeah, here's how it worked. We've been married 18 years. 15 of it, we ain't slept in the same bed. That's a lie. The drugs and stuff is stuff she makes up and it's totally false. And uh, as far as getting with her, well, obviously I did. So, and she's just mad about that. Okay. So, 
What happened with your, you and your wife's relationship? She's the main hateful person. Okay, you used to fuss all the time? Yeah, and- About what? You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter what. It's Whatever. just anything she could- Ma'am? And there's- oh. you, what, what no, were you? I fuss. Why? I want a nice home. I wanted nice furniture. I didn't want our cars to get repoed all the time because he wouldn't work. Yeah, I fussed. You wouldn't work? Yeah, I've worked constantly. You're so, oh. Were you laid off frequently? Well, no, I always, I'm frequently. not working now. What you shaking your head for? You ain't been around but six months. <laughs> Go ahead, you don't know what they did. See, uh, I was. She over there. <laughs> They did. Go ahead, I sir. was working, except for she was calling my employer and the people I work with, telling them I was on drugs and uh, all that crap. Did you do that? I talked to them. They are my friends. Why? Because they're my friends. The people he worked for? They're not your yes. friends. Didn't you think that would cause him problems? He didn't you tell your friends everything about you all's marriage? I hope my wife ain't telling you <laughs> everything I do wrong. <laughs> all Honor, right. This is how this worked. Last September, he took a chainsaw from his job. He pawned it. Well, the detectives, okay. he had me go get it out. The detectives met me up there, was going to arrest me okay. for it. All right. That belonged to his boss. He was taken in, they let him come home. His boss at the time said he wouldn't press charges. They because he, he owed All right, you're giving your husband a little tough love to try and get hey, him off uh, drugs. Is that the essence of what you're saying? Yeah, he needs, yeah, he needs. All right. She didn't mind riding with me up there to pawn it, so. I had no other where to she go, had to Paul. keep the lights on, sir. Well, that's why I pawned it. He owed me the money, and then that's why it all got worked out. And they'll child, child. All right, you all don't think you can uh, reconcile, or? No. no. <laughs> but I will say this, Your Honor. He why? Did, if he, he did went to rehab, my... why couldn't you? We probably could. I don't, I, he did call I, I me at 1.36. You could if he went to rehab? He called me at 1.36 oh, last night. He was getting high, ma'am. That's what happens when you get high. <laughs> Wanting You're a up place all to night. Stay. Did he ask for $20? No, he wanted a place to stay. Same thing. <laughs> he asked not $20 a place to stay. That's even more. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not on drugs. She okay. Just, it's... All right. Well, if, would, is there any circumstance you go back to, to your her? wife? No. You slow Absolutely. about answering because you got her with no, you. No, I just y'all talk about it another time, sir. All your right. Your Honor, I also have this. Um, What's the law? Police for? report. Police report on her, or not the report, but her mugshot where Didn't they were I just tell busted. You all to leave each other alone. Okay. Well, I'm just telling. You, that's what is going on with my children. All right. Um, now, and ma'am, this does say possession of meth. Uh, Your Honor, those were marijuana. dropped. Those are not charged the, against me. The DA did not press charges because I drug tested and yeah. I was clean. That's why there are no charges currently right. filed against me right now. All right, ma'am. I hear you talking so fast over there. No, they um, didn't they formally charge. She was arrested. Yeah. I was, was arrested, arrested, but I wasn't charged. And, all right, yeah. and it wasn't their imagination. Um, <laughs> let's get to uh, the loans you're suing for, ma'am. Okay. In February of this year, he needed $1,000. They had purchased a truck together and the tag was due. After he had run off. Yes, sir. $1,000 And from you my knew inheritance. he was on meth. Or yes. so you say. Yes. You gave him some more money for that? Yes. Sir, After I he did. smoked up the first, yes. you gave him some more. Yes. Go ahead, sir. The $1,000 come from my inheritance of 20000 that she kept and would not give me. And that's where that 1000 came from and then the other loan she got came from First thing, ma'am, you should know you all are still married, so you can't sue your husband in um, civil court. So this is joint assets, uh, with the exception of inheritance. He signed the check, inheritance check, to me to open a bank account in my name only. You sound like you're suing him for assets that came from his inheritance. That's he told me when the money was put in the account, he says, give me $50,000 in a matter of two days. He wanted it. You can have the rest that's in there. It was $15,900. Okay. You all have anything? I didn't agree Let to give her Let me see the nothing. checks or whatever you we have in writing. Oh, I have a promissory note for the title loan that what I got in loan? May. Oh, the one? All the right, one let's see in May, it. and the so promissory note. So you, wrote, you wrote out a promissory note to your own husband? I had him sign it, yes, because the, the situation was he was going to have, I was getting the title loan. When the title came in on his truck, their truck, they were to have it put in my name and Paul's name.
plaintiff, Tammy Matthews, is legally married to the defendant, but she claims their marriage ended after he started having an affair with his current girlfriend, the co-defendant. Husband and wife can't sue each other, but Miss McCool? Yes. You're a party to this. I didn't sign anything. She no, had no, a... no, you're a counterclaim. Your name is oh. in here. Oh, yes, yes. Your name is in here. Before you start talking so fast, Sorry. let me explain it lot. <laughs> it says, Tammy Matthews against defendant number one, Paul Matthews. Defendant number two, Rhonda McCool. You know when you have defendant one and defendant two? That means you're joint parties. You're together. And joint parties, you can either sue and win a judgment against one or both. We know she can't win against him because they're married. You put your name on here. <laughs> Take responsibility. Now, what is your counterclaim? It is harassment for posting all this stuff on what Facebook. Getting hold me. of my brother. Tell me. Don't hand me 30 pages. Getting hold of my sisters I know and harassing you're, me. I know you're talking fast kids. and you're doing all that, but you read what it is she did to you to prove your case. And read slow. <laughs> No reading. Your claim is dismissed. Judgment for the plaintiff against defendant two. Have a good day. I ain't got nothing to say to her. You didn't say that last night at 1.30 when you needed a place to stay when y'all were fighting? The only reason he called you is because we were fighting. He and wants nothing to, to do with you. You're a loser. You are a loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. You're a You're a loser. You're a loser. Back you keep so, going that's why back you to have him. no children. Well, you are a your loser. Your teeth are going to fall out. You, you degrade yourself. Keep going back to him, whether he calls you or not. Right, you're going to keep go. going back to him. 